previously, we've shown you how to create an organic vegetable garden. We've shown you how to compost, and today we're going to show you how to create rich, quality soil using worms. Peter Rutherford is an eco-gardener and runs sustainable living workshops at Kimbricky Recycling and Waste Disposal Centre. Well, Peter, apart from the wonderful soil you get, what are some of the other advantages of worm farming? Well, a worm farm is fantastic for a smaller space, like where there's just a couple of people with less food scraps. Okay. Because a worm farm just takes food scraps and soil, not all the garden stuff. And how is it different to the composting? Well, you have a home for the worm. So if we lift that off and have a quick look, see there, that's their home. And what's that? That's compost? Yeah, that's just compost. You fill that tray up with compost, mm -hmm. and that's their home. And then you put your empty tray on top. And so, Peter, how do we feed the worms? Well, we first lift the bag up. Mm -hmm. Then we tip in the food scraps and sprinkle on some soil on top. That gives them something to grind the food with. And what sort of uh, food scraps can we use? You can use any food scraps except for meat and dairy products. Because of the smell? All your kitchen food scraps, yeah. And a bit of paper? Yeah, a bit of paper's good. And then they change that back into beautiful worm castings. So you see here, that's, that's what they change that into. So that gets changed into that and that's beautiful. And when we were composting, we had to mix all this through. Do we need to with worm farming? No, because the worms do the mixing. So the worms are the diggers, they're the mixers. Always have a bag on top, mm -hmm. like we did on our compost. That's mm -hmm. the same as composting, because that keeps it dark and moist. Mm -hmm. So when, the, when this top tray is full, you basically lift this whole top tray off. You take this whole top tray off, and then you would remove that one there, which is their home. They use would have the moved, soil? Yeah, and you use that on your garden. And you'd empty that tray. So the worms are mostly up in here now. And then, so you'd put this tray back on, you'd bring your empty one now. On top? And put it on top and, and start, start again. Okay. Yeah. And when we were composting, we had to keep the soil nice and moist. Do we need to do that for worm farming? Yeah, absolutely. Worms love it really wet, as long as the water can move through. So you, you flood it once a week. Once get, a week? Yeah, once a week. You, have, you like totally flood the whole system. And have your tap open at the bottom or even get rid of your tap and you get that beautiful juice out of the bottom as that flows down through the worm casting. This stuff here? Yeah, this beautiful juice here. This, this juice is fantastic for any plants um, in your veggie garden or in plants in pots. It's beautiful. It's Liquid gold, isn't Liquid it? Liquid gold. And what about the worms themselves? Where do we get those from? You can get worms from either count, some councils or nurseries, garden nurseries. Okay, so another alternative, Aniela, is to get yourself some chooks. Make a little chook pen mm -hmm. and feed all your food scraps to your chooks. You get manure for your organic veggie garden and you get beautiful fresh eggs. And I love it because they do all the work for you. They do. <laughs> and there's even a guy who does rent a chook. No. Yeah. You can rent the chooks, he brings a little cage, and when you go on holidays, you can send them back and he'll look after them for you. What a fantastic idea. <laughs> So if you want more information on worm farming or chooks, just visit the Do It TV website.